U.S. Navy Ronald Reagan Carrier Strike Group moved into the South China Sea and has arrived in Manila, the capital of the Philippines. U.S. officials stated that some countries must follow international law, pointing to China. Rear Admiral Carl Thomas said, The motto of this carrier is peace through strength. We just think that folks should follow the international law and our presence allows us to provide that security and stability in the background for these discussions to take place. The statement clearly underlines American resolve not to bow down to Chinese threats. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why China can't do much as Ronald Reagan Carrier Strike Group moved to the South China Sea. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by the free-to-play military vehicle combat game War Thunder. We talk a lot about military vehicles on this channel, but what about trying them out for yourself? In War Thunder, you can choose from more than 1,200 playable vehicles from the 1930s to the 1990s and go to battle on more than 80 theaters of war. You can fly aircraft, helicopters, drive tanks and command ships of all types and sizes, which have been carefully recreated from their real-world counterparts. It's available as a free download on PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One with cross-platform support. So grab your friends and give it a try. All viewers of Defense Updates that register using the link in the description below will also get a free premium tank or aircraft and three days of premium account time as a bonus. China's sweeping claims of sovereignty over the South China Sea have annoyed competing claimants Malaysia, Vietnam, Brunei, Taiwan, Indonesia and the Philippines. The United States, Japan, Australia and India favor freedom of navigation as it is a very important sea route with $5 trillion in trade, half the global merchant shipping and half the world's oil shipment pass through it. The sea also has alleged 11 billion barrels of untapped oil and 190 trillion cubic feet of natural gas. The USA has been doing many freedom of navigation exercises to counter what Washington sees as Beijing's efforts to limit freedom of navigation in the strategic waters. U.S. military is periodically sending warships and Air Force jets to assert freedom of flights and navigation over the South China Sea. This mission has special significance as it comes at a time when the relation between China and the Philippines has reached a new low. USS Ronald Reagan is a Nimitz-class supercarrier. Nimitz-class carriers were designed to be improvements on previous U.S. aircraft carriers, in particular the Enterprise and Forrestal-class vessels. All ten Nimitz-class aircraft carriers were constructed between 1968 and 2006 at Newport News Shipbuilding Company, Virginia, in the largest dry dock in the Western Hemisphere. USS Ronald Reagan is the ninth ship of her class and was commissioned on the 12th of July, 2003. She is named in honor of Ronald W. Reagan, President of the United States from 1981 to 1989. Yokosuka, Japan is the home port of the USS Ronald Reagan. USS Ronald Reagan is one of the largest vessels constructed. It has a displacement of 100,000 tons and an overall length of 332.8 meters or 1,092 feet. To give viewers a perspective, it is about three football fields long. It is powered by two A4W nuclear reactors kept in separate compartments. These power four propeller shafts and can produce a maximum speed of over 30 knots or 56 kilometers per hour. As a result of the use of nuclear power, the ship is capable of operating continuously for over 20 years without refueling and is predicted to have a service life of over 50 years. Practically, it has unlimited range and endurance. USS Ronald Reagan, being a Nimitz class carrier, possesses a multitude of different radars, including electronically scanned array 3D radars. It is equipped with 16 to 24. RIM-7 Sea Sparrow or NATO Sea Sparrow missiles. RIM-7 Sea Sparrow is a U.S. shipborne short-range anti-aircraft and anti-missile weapon system primarily intended for defense against anti-ship missiles. Its range is 19 kilometers or 12 miles. 
Close in weapons CIWS duties are performed by Phalanx and RIM 116 rolling airframe missile. Phalanx CIWS has a 4,500 per minute rate of fire. RIM 116 rolling airframe missiles have a speed in excess of Mach 2. USS Ronald Reagan can carry a flight group of more than 60 aircraft, including F-18 fighter jets. These are twin-engine, supersonic, all-weather, carrier-capable, fourth-generation, multi-role fighter aircraft. They have a payload of 7,700 kilograms that's 17,000 pounds, and can carry ground attack weapons as well as air-to-air -air missiles. The versatility of the aircraft can be gauged from the fact that on the first day of Operation Desert Storm, two F-18, each carrying four 2,000-pound bombs, shot down two Iraqi MiGs and then proceeded to deliver their bombs on target. The flotilla of aircraft has enough firepower to mount a credible offensive against any Chinese misadventure. USS Ronald Reagan doesn't operate alone but is deployed with the Carrier Strike Group. The Ronald Reagan Carrier Strike Group includes the Ticonderoga-class guided missile cruisers USS Chancellorville CG-62, and USS Antietam CG-54. Ticonderoga-class guided missile cruisers are equipped with a diverse array of weapons for anti-aircraft warfare AAW, anti-submarine warfare ASW, anti-surface warfare ASUW, as well as have the ability to intercept ballistic missiles through Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense System. This class of cruiser has an overall length of 567 feet or 173 meters and displacement of about 9,600 tons. Ticonderoga class warship has a speed of 32 plus knots, that's 60 plus kilometers per hour, and a range of 6,000 nautical miles or 11,000 kilometers. Ticonderoga class cruiser has two 61 cell Mark 41 vertical launch systems that can be equipped with a choice of different weapons. 1. RIM-66 M5 Standard SM-2 MR Block 3B for air defense and anti-ship roll, with a range of 103 miles or 167 kilometers and a speed of Mach 3.5. 2. RIM-156A SM-2 ER Block 4 for anti-aircraft and anti-ship roll with a range of 115 miles or 185 kilometers and a speed of Mach 3.5. 3. RIM-161 SM-3 for ballistic missile defense with a range of 435 miles or 700 kilometers and a speed of Mach 10. It can also be used as an anti-satellite weapon. 4. RIM-162A ESSM for anti-ship missile roll with a range of 31 miles or 50 kilometers and a speed of Mach 4. It can be quad packed in a single Mark 41 cell. 5. RIM 174A Standard ERAM or SM 6 for anti aircraft warfare with a range of 150 miles or 240 kilometers and a speed of Mach 3.5. 6. BGM 109 Tomahawk for land attack. It has a long range of up to 1,550 miles or 2,500 kilometers with subsonic speed. 7. RUM 139A VL ASROC anti submarine missile with a range of 13 miles or 22 kilometers. It also has 8 harpoon missile launcher for anti ship roll. Two Mark 32 triple torpedo tubes are present launching Mark 46 or Mark 50 torpedoes. Two Sikorsky SH-60B helicopters are responsible for anti-submarine warfare. Other weapons consist of long-range naval gun and variety of close-in weapon system. The strike group also has Virginia-class attack submarines, but it's not clear if for this mission any have been deployed. The Virginia-class submarines can defeat enemy submarines, clear sea mines, as well as score hits on land installations.
It's clear that Ronald Reagan Carrier Strike Group packs a potent punch, and China will surely refrain from any misadventure against it. Recently, the Philippines has fired off a diplomatic protest against China, and a Philippine defense official accused China of bullying in the region. This came after the country's national security advisor, Hermogenes Esperon Jr., revealed that 113 Chinese fishing vessels were spotted swarming Pagasa Island between July 24th and 25th. Pagasa, also known as Thitu, is the second largest natural landmass in the Spratly Archipelago in the South China Sea. It's been a bone of contention between China and the Philippines. Viewers may note that earlier in the year, on April 4th, events took a new turn in the dispute when President Duterte stated, I'm trying to tell China Pagasa is ours, so let us be friends, but do not touch Pagasa Island and the rest, otherwise things would be different. He insisted that this is not a warning, this is just a word of advice to my friends, because China is our friend. Mr. Duterte went on, I will not plead or beg, but I'm just telling you to lay off Pagasa, because I have soldiers there. If you touch it, that's another story. Then I will tell my soldiers prepare for suicide missions. In this situation, the movement of Ronald Reagan Carrier Strike Group sends a message to China. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.